Come with me as we check out Taste 222 on Canal Street. I had a chance to visit during restaurant week, and these are the selections that I made. Starting off with the Cobb salad. I mean, you really can't go wrong with the salad. I did enjoy the garlic vinaigrette. However, the croutons promised goat cheese. I didn't taste any goat cheese at all, or I didn't taste jalapenos in my salad. So I'll just wait for my steak. Now, the steak has a cherry chimney butter, and it came with truffle fries. I ordered my steak medium rare. Um, the doneness of the steak was on point, so it got me really, really excited to taste it. I'm especially excited to taste this chimichurri butter. Upon my initial taste, it had none. So I had to add salt and pepper, and that is not a good sign when you're ordering steak. A steak should be able to stand on its own. I added some salt and pepper, and then I took a chance, and I added some of that garlic aioli, and it was not delicious. The steak had absolutely no flavor. I could not taste the chimichurri sauce at all. The steak absolutely had no seasoning. Let's move on to these truffle fries. I absolutely love truffle fries. And these fries had no flavor either. I couldn't taste the truffle oil. It really didn't have a lot of salt. Um, let's move on to dessert. This is the peanut butter mousse pie. And it was extremely rich. It had great flavor, but because it was so rich, I only could take one bite. I could not finish. So I ended my meal with a cocktail. And this was the best part of the meal. It was strong. The flavors were good. I was able to get it during happy hour. So the price is right. And I met the bartender. Taste 222, no taste. One out of five stars.